This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the bump steer shims that come with the Seams Legit Garage tow links. When you order the kit, you're going to get two tow links, pretty standard. You're going to get the two eccentric lockouts, and you're going to get a bag that contains bump steer shims. The majority of this is going to be focusing on how to use the bump steer shims. When you order a tow link, it's pretty standard, but both sides are different. This side is going to go into the subframe, and then on this side, this is the side that attaches to the knuckle. On this side you have a bolt head shim as well as a spacer that will put the tow link in the exact spot of where the OEM one. So you have the same bump steer curve as what you had with OEM. Now let's open the kit and see what that comes with to adjust the bump steer. In the bag you're going to get different rod end adapters as well as a handful of adjustment shims to adjust bump steer. So we're going to start with the F80 and I'm going to show you how these work. You're first going to grab these two parts out of the bag and install them in the rod end. You can then grab the two shims and shim the top or the bottom, depending on what bump steer you're going for. Once you have the shims installed, you can then measure for bump steer. When the rod ends at a new location, you have to align the car. You'll put your toe plates on both sides, go through the compression while measuring toe. That will give you your bump steer curve. If you need to make further changes, you can take the shims out, two shims on the top, two shims on the bottom, one on top, one on bottom. It's up to you. It's going to give you a bunch of different locations of the rod end in the pocket. Every time you adjust the shims, you got to do it on both sides of the vehicle at the same time. Every time you do it, it's going to change the rear toe. Once you adjust the shim, you need to put the car back on the ground, adjust toe, get your static ride height toe that you desire, lift the car back up, take the springs down, and then measure bump steer again. This does take a long time to do if you want to try multiple locations of bump steer. When you're measuring bump steer, also note what the rod end is doing. You do not want the rod end to touch the knuckle in any way. Now we'll show you how to do it on an e-chassis or an A90 Supra. Adjusting bump steer on e-chassis, non-M F series or A90 Supras is all the same. It's a little different than the F80 as there's no pocket on the knuckle. It actually bolts into the side of the knuckle. On your tow link, when you get it, you'll get this. With this adapter, it comes in the same stock location as your OEM link. So that will give you the same bump steer curve as what you had with the OEM link in it. If we open the bump steer kit. You're going to get two new adapters that look like this, as well as a handful of the shims. Take the new adapter and put it in. The new adapter is going to replace the large adapter on this side. You're going to leave this small adapter the same. You're going to start like this. Theoretically, if you wanted, you could bolt this in as is and measure bumps here from there. We do recommend starting with a few shims. Put the shims on the side that touches the knuckle. This will allow you to shim the rod end in or away from the knuckle, which is what's changing the bump steer curve. Same as the F80 before, if you didn't watch that part, every time you do this, you must adjust both sides at the same time, go through the compression stroke, back down, while measuring the front and rear to get the bump steer. If you aren't satisfied with that bump steer and you decide to take a few shims off, you gotta put the car back down Make it level, readjust to get the static toe that you desire, bring it back up, then go through compression again while measuring bump steer. Do this until you're satisfied. It does take a long time. Things to note while you're doing it, make sure the rod end doesn't change and touch the knuckle in any way. In our tech article page, we have a graph that shows different bump steer measurements with things we've tried in the past that we like. So you can reference that on a good place to start. If you have any other questions, you can email sales at seamslogicgarage.com and good luck with your new bump steer kit.